These are some of the 3,031 stars of the canine world competing in America's number one dog event. As Madison Square Garden Productions present the highlights of the 95th annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. Brought to you from Madison Square Garden by Milk Bone brand dog biscuits, flavor snacks, and puppy biscuits. This is the way Madison Square Garden looked each day. Eight rings as the more than 3,000 dogs fought it out to be named the best of breed, and each of the 123 breeds entered in this, the 95th Westminster Show, the second oldest sporting event in America. Each evening, the garden floor was transformed into one giant ring as the breed winners competed against each other to be named best of group. You will see the climax of this two-day competition when Judge O. Carly Harriman selects best in show from the six group winners. And best in show at Westminster is the highest honor, the most coveted title in the world of dogs. And they are lined up. You? Seven contenders here for best of group in the Terriers here at the Westminster Kennel Club show at Madison Square Garden. You sound a little excited about it, bud. What do you think about those handlers out there? Okay. None of these dogs are falling down in the least. Has he picked it yet, or is he just going to he's uh, lining them up. eliminating again? No, no, he's just lining them up. Um, he's going to send them around. Now he's got four Go. here. Now he's got the uh, Kerry Blue, the Wirehead Fox Terrier, the Scotty. And the Sealingham. And the Welsh Terrier. Now they're all going around, except now the Cairn's going in again. They're all, no, he didn't yep. eliminate anybody. He hasn't eliminated anybody yet. You've got to stay in there and work. That's he's <laughs> as foxy as these Terriers, isn't he? He sure is. There he's giving it to now the Kerry Blue. Blue. Kerry Blue is the winner. That's champion O'Connell of Kerry Oaks is the winner, being congratulated there. It's owned by Florence Coe of Atherton, California, being congratulated by all the other handlers. And now the Kerry Blue will go into the finals for best in show with the other six group winners. The Kerry Blue, winner of the Terrier class. All the way from Atherton, California. Best of the non-sporting group. Non-sporting group is the smallest uh, group uh, in the show. The judge can see a lot when he moves the dogs straight away from him and straight back. Now, let's see. He's asking the mall to move, but he seems to be concentrating. No, he's looking at the mall going around. But now he sees the moving uh, profile, and this uh, is very important. How much ground do they cover? How well balanced is their movement? And who is it? Miniature Poodle. Miniature Poodle is the winner of the non-sporting group. And it is champion Tally Ho Tiffany, owned by Frank and Susan Dale of Calabasas, California. The working group is now being judged here at the Westminster Kennel Club show. There, this is the biggest group. There are 29 breeds, but Henry Stecker, the judge from Homedale, New Jersey, has brought it down to 10 dogs right now. And you're looking at the German Shepherd, which is champion ex von der Schlangenspitze, owned by the Long Gold Kennels in Smithtown, New York. Amazing gait on German Shepherds, aren't they, Joe? Yes, they're very uh, different from uh, most dogs. Uh, they're real trotting dogs. Here's the giant Schnauzer. And this is champion Kedam de la Stangasse, owned by Jack Butel of Portland, Oregon. Is that black unusual for a giant schnauzer? Uh, giant schnauzers seem to uh, have more individuals that are black than the other breeds. Well, here's, here's a, something that isn't black. <laughs> here's the Great Pyrenees. This is champion uh, Crippletown Falstaff, owned by Francis C. Glover of Hawkinson, Delaware. This is the Bobtail, the old English sheepdog. There we have a view of the other dogs in the uh, contention back to the 
Bob Creel. And this is champion Brooks Blue Boy, owned by Florence E. Pangborn of Northville, Michigan. Here's another black schnauzer, this being the standard. This is the Shetland Sheepdog. And this is champion Pixie Dell Epicure on the Miss and Mrs. A. R. Miller of Scarsdale, New York. German Shepherd, the Doberman, the Standard Schnauzer, and the Pembroke Welsh Corgi, and the crowd is really applauding for their favorites. Mr. Stecker, know that we don't. He... I was about to ask you. You're <laughs> the you're the expert here, Joe. There are the four. Oh! Standard Schnauzer. Standard Schnauzer took it. And it is champion Pablo de la Steingasse. I hope I'm correct on these names. Now here's an overall view as we're judging the toy group here at Madison Square Garden. Of this, the 95th. Westminster Kennel Club show. And the best in show you'll see later, which is the greatest honor a dog can receive. Uh, now she's pulling them out now for consideration. She's not making her placements yet. What does she pull out now? They're a little hard to... Uh, she got the uh, Shih Tzu there, the um, uh, Chihuahua, smooth-coated smooth Chihuahua, the Italian Greyhound, the Miniature Pincher, the Pomeranian, the uh, Silky Terrier, and the Maltese. Well, she's reduced from 18 to 7 now. I guess she's going down the line to be sure she didn't forget anybody. She already has uh, 11 people out there in a state of shock and no telling how many in the audience. She's changed her flow there uh, to keep us uh, in suspense, leading off with the Maltese. Is that the Silky Terrier following yes. us? Yes. Oh. That's the Maltese and the Silky Terrier. Right. And who else is there? And What's there we are, the Pomeranian. Yeah, then the... Miniature Pincher. Pincher. Italian Greyhound. Right. Chihuahua. Yeah. It's already, my golly. No. Caught us all by surprise. Usually the judge goes over to the table and then comes back. Well, let's see. Oh, where she has a Pomeranian first. And the Pomeranian, you can't oh. see it because the handler uh -huh. has the Pomeranian clutched in her arms. So the winner of the toy group is the Pomeranian, champion Duke's Little Red Baron Ocala. This is Judge Peter Noop of Weston, Connecticut, who is judging the hound group. The steward is Mr. Robert E. Taylor. There are 21 breeds here, and he's calling out some of the dogs. The long-haired dachshund he has called out. Called out the Scottish deerhound there, too, bud. Yeah, out goes the bloodhound. The bloodhound and the 15-inch beagle. Called out the Basenji <clears throat> and the Norwegian elk hound, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. But he's just called out two of the top hounds that uh, have ever existed in this country. What, these, these two dogs? You mean these specific? two right here. These two specific dogs are two of the best moving animals that we have in this country today. These two dogs. This is the Basenji there as champion Reveille Reup, owned by Elaine S. Huffman of Washington, D.C. And the real popular favorite with the crowd here, which is not going to influence 
Judge Snoop at all is the Norwegian Elkhound here, champion Ben Melka's Vagabond, owned by Patricia Craig of Monterey, California. It's the Norwegian. Rather the Norwegian Elkhound. And Thank you. A little smaller than the Irish Elkhound. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Two superbly <laughs> trained animals. Two superb. <laughs> To, so <laughs> the Vasenji, hey, wait a minute. If you're going to get a little liver for that uh, we're really Norwegian elk count, I want yeah. some, too. But we're really seeing a show, you know. This is the way a dog shows she... Hey, there's a hey. Norwegian elk count has Norwegian won this, this group. And he likes it, doesn't he? But the winner here of the pound group, the Norwegian elk count, champion Vin Melka's Vagabond. Joe Tacker, a... Tremendous response from the crowd here, a very popular group. You're looking at the sporting group, 23 breeds. Uh, the judge is Mr. Virgil D. Johnson of Savannah Beach, Georgia, and the steward is Mr. William A. Rockefeller. Now the pointer. This is champion Shandown's Toucher Kings. You notice there, uh, Mr. Mr. Johnson could base his decision on the way they show here, but and the way they gape for the handlers. All of them, except uh, one or two, have bobbled a little bit. Here goes the English setter. But I don't believe Mr. Johnson would base that his decision on that uh, tonight with this uh, fairly slippery floor here. I mean, the dog just slipped there, right? Yes. There went one, didn't make a single bobble. <laughs> Here goes the golden, golden retriever. retriever. This is the sporting group, 23 breeds. And our judge, Virgil Johnson, has gotten it down to about seven dogs. This Here is goes the Labrador Retriever. Champion Hillsborough, Wizard of Oz. This is a very popular breed, but it's coming up in registrations. By the way, talking about registrations, it wasn't many years ago that a half a million a year uh, registration at the AKC, total dogs, was uh, a darn, there he is. Okay, we've got our decision. And by golly, <laughs> it is the English Springer Spaniel Champion Chino's Adama James wins the sporting group. Looks like the setter is second. The pointer is third. And let's see, and the golden is fourth. Well, Joe Tacker, here we go. Best in show, 95th Westminster Kennel Club show. The greatest honor a dog can acquire in the dog world is to win what you're going to see right now. We have six finalists of the groups. First here you're looking at the Norwegian Elkhound, champion Vin Melka's Vagabond. That was the hound group winner. And a hound, as, uh, that is a Norwegian Elkhound, has never won here at Madison Square Garden. 1964 a Whippet won. Now you're looking at the sporting group winner, the English Springer Spaniel. Champion Chinaway's Adam and James. The owner is Milton E. Prickett of Lexington, Kentucky. The handler is Clint Harris. An English Springer Spaniel did win here in 1963. Champion Wakefield's Black Knight. And the legs going through there is our judge, Mr. O. Carly Harriman. And now we go to the working group winner, the standard Schnauzer, Champion Pavo de la Stangasi, owned by Mrs. Margaret S. Smith of Dallas, Texas. And the Schnauzer has never won best in show here. It's very unusual, Joe, to have a black Schnauzer, isn't it? Right. It, uh, it's uh, not so rare in this breed. That's handled by Sue Baines, too. And this is the Terrier Group winner, the Kerry Blue. A Kerry Blue also has never won best in show here. This is champion O'Connell of Kerry Oaks, owned by Mrs. Flor Florence Coe of Atherton, California. And now we go to the non-sporting group, Winner, the miniature poodle, champion Tally Ho Tiffany. Now, a miniature did win here in 1959, champion Fontclair Festoon. And this miniature is owned by Mrs. Mrs. Frank Dale of Calabasas, California. And the toy group winner, <laughs> the Pomeranian, champion Duke's Little Red Baron, 
Ocala. He's three years old and weighs four pounds, has won four, that's six best in shows, and 22 groups. Now, our judge Harriman goes to the sporting group winner, the English Springer Spaniel, champion Chinaway's Adam James, owned by Milton E. Prickett of Lexington, Kentucky. The handler is Clint Harris, an amazing record on this dog. It's two and a half years old, been in 40 shows, has won 15 best of shows, and 25 group wins. <laughs> That's going, isn't it? How can he do that in such a short span of life? We have had former English Springer Spaniel winners here at Westminster in 1963 as champion Wakefield's Black Knight. And you can sort of tell, Joe, who the crowd likes here. They sure go for him, and for a good reason. In case and you just loves it. Look, look. Yeah. Excuse me, bud. That's all right. We're both getting a little excited here. I'm just about to say, in case you just joined us, this is the finals best in show at the Westminster Kennel Club show in Madison Square Garden. The greatest single honor in the dog world is going to go to one of these six dogs here. As Mr. Harriman, our judge, moves up to the Hound Group winner, the Norwegian Elkhound, champion Vin Melka's Vagabond, owned and handled by Patricia Craig of Monterey, California. This is the defending group champion in the Hound Group, the only one, by the way, of three returning group winners to make it. <clears throat> and I'm sorry to say, fellas, that's Mrs. Craig. I just saw Dr. <laughs> Craig, uh, who she's married to, behind us here. <laughs> but <laughs> Well, once again, a Norwegian elk hound has never won best in show. The last hound that winners in 64, the Whippet, Chapney, and Courtney Fleetwood of Pennyworth. What great movement on this dog. It is amazing, isn't it? These last two certainly move well. Won 23 best in shows. And now let's see what Mr. Harriman's got to decide right now. He's judged all over the world, breeder of many kinds of dog, and the brother of Ambassador William Averill Harriman. Or as the brothers always say, W. Averill Harriman. Because our judge here is Mr. O. Carly Harriman. They always. Right, they uh, use their middle name. Oh, Has he made there. his decision? He must have. He's going to go over and write it down. And Here it comes. He's, he's made his decision. The steward there he's talking to is Mr. Robert V. Lindsay, who's president of Westminster and brother of our good mayor of New York City, John Fleet Lindsay. And here comes a tense moment. None of these six dogs know who is the winner. And nobody else but Mr. Harriman, and I guess Mr. Lindsay knows by now, doesn't he? Yeah. The dog world is waiting for this decision. This will start... Look at Sharon Griffin with her palm, wondering whether she's won it. Here's the big decision being made. And suddenly he'll turn around and somebody will go wild out here, including the crowd. <laughs> Best in show. Which one of the six? Here it comes. <laughs> He's not going to let us know yet. <laughs> the English Springer Spaniel, champion Chinaway's Adam James, is the winner here of the 95th Westminster Kettle Club Show. And what an honor to this dog. And here is the winner of the 95th Westminster Kennel Club Show in slow motion. Champion Chinaway's Adam and James. Here's the best in show, <laughs> Champion Chinaway's Adam and James, and here is Clint Harris, the handler. We also have Dr. Prickett way over on the right, the happy owner. And here's Joe Tacker. Now, Joe, you're a judge. You just go right over the champ here and say what you have to say about the dog. 
All right, uh, Bud, uh, this dog, uh, I've seen him before. Yeah, just today. <laughs> but uh, we started at the front. He's got a perfect mouth for Springer. Got the nice uh, top line on the head, good muzzle. He's a tired dog right now, and, and he's puffing quite a bit, but uh, the squareness of his bill is just Let perfect. That. Let me hold that. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. see the length of neck. Yeah. You see the layback of shoulder and the angle here and his beautiful bone and uh, his feet. And you drop him, can't take him away from Clint that he doesn't drop perfectly. And this uh, length of body here, the short loin, the nice, beautiful arch over the loin. I'm sure that this went through uh, Mr. Harriman's mind as he was uh, judging this dog. You keep going right back to the rear. He's got a strong one straight from uh, behind and the correct balance of angle uh, from the side. And his coloring is perfect and uh, a dark eye. He looks at you. Um, you're getting very enthusiastic. Good <laughs> you agree with Judge Harris, right? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Joe Tacker. Come in, Harris. Congratulations. And Doc, the owner, congratulations Dr. you. And here it is. The dog that won it all here, the 95th champion, Chinaway's Adam and James. Congratulations again. Thank you, bud. Just Thank a great dog, really, huh?